Hate and fear are very much linked. We are hardwired to fear what we don't understand. It is, unfortunately, the way that we've been able to survive throughout the times humans have been around, particularly in the wild. We can't get a full understanding of those who are different from us by reading books or literature or videos telling people that they're horrible people for not believing this or that, nor people chanting shame over and over again. The people who continually preach the things found in books, literature, college courses, are the people who already have an understanding of this sort of thing. Oftentimes, they study these things so they can maybe get a better way of explaining it to other people, and in some cases, to find a more intelligent way of chastising people, making people feel bad for having the beliefs that they do and the fears that they do. But those methods are backfiring in the most catastrophic ways possible. And as they backfire more, people are becoming more and more demanding, while the other side is becoming more and more bigoted. People who have never experienced Western culture, for instance, people who might be living in huts or living out of things that they built from the nature that's around them, they have a fear of those who are not like them. We are all xenophobic by our very nature, all of us. We have to unlearn the things that we're hardwired to believe about those that are different from us. The more that people like Cat Black and Dakota Hendrix or Monroe Bergdorf, who recently got fired from L'Oreal for saying that all white people are oppressive and violent, the more that people like that make demands that people change, the less people are going to change. The more that people will hunker down in their beliefs even more. They will double down on their fear and their hatred. The fear turns into hatred, particularly when they are continually chastised for having those fears. We cannot demand that people respect us. That's not how respect works. And unfortunately, in a lot of places, people are making more and more demands about what people should feel. And it's particularly causing a lot of resentment by those who are not minorities. We need to find a way to diffuse the fear that people have of those who are different from them. We need to show people that we understand their fears and not chastise them for having those fears to begin with. Because again, unfortunately, it is human to have fear of things that we don't understand. As I've said before, there is not enough compromise in discussions of competing sides when it comes to these kinds of issues. Transgender issues, racial issues, gay issues, etc. And as people become more and more heated about these issues, the worse people's attitudes are getting about these issues. We need to chastise those who are going out of their way to put a wedge between minorities and those who are trying to be understanding.